Good evening and welcome to our service of evening prayer for Saturday, the 6th of March. As always, we begin with our service of light, so I will light our candle. Light and peace in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, a light no darkness can extinguish. And we are going to be singing our hymn, which is also our psalm. Uh, so uh, it's Psalm 23 today. So I thought we would sing it as a hymn, one that's very well known, and we'll be singing it throughout uh, the service. The Lord's my shepherd, number 519. And we will sing the first verse now. The Lord's my shepherd, I'll not want. He makes me down to lie in pastures green. He leadeth me the quiet waters by. And our gospel lesson is the Gospel of John. It is John 7, 1 to 13, the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. John. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. After this, Jesus went about in Galilee. He did not wish to go about in Judea because the Jewish authorities were looking for an opportunity to kill him. Now the Jewish festival of booths was near, so his brothers said to him, Leave here and go to Judea so that your disciples may also may see the works you are doing, for no one who wants to be widely known acts in secret. If you do these things, show yourself to the world, for not even his brothers believed in him. But Jesus said to them, My time has not yet come, but your time is always here. The world cannot hate you, but it hates me because I testify against it that its works are evil. Go to the festival yourselves. I am not going to this festival for my time has not yet fully come. After saying this, he remained in Galilee. But after his brothers had gone to the festival, then he also went, not publicly, but as it were in secret. The Jews were looking for him at the, Jew at the festival, saying, Where is he? And there was considerable complaining about him among the crowds. While some were saying, He is a good man. Others were saying, No, he is deceiving the crowd. Yet no one would speak openly about him for fear of the Jewish authorities. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So we're in the season of Lent and our, our faces are kind of set towards Holy Week and Christ's Passion. And so this story is a little earlier than that, but already, of course, we know he's gotten into trouble with the Pharisees and the Jewish authorities. Um, because of the work he's doing on the Sabbath, etc. And so Jesus knows they are plotting to kill him. And so he doesn't want to be around Jerusalem. He's going to stay up in Galilee in the north. Um, now, lots of people have family problems, and it looks like even Jesus had family problems. It seems like his brothers are goading him. Um, perhaps it's very similar to David's brothers, who um, didn't like him being so smart and wanted to... Uh, you know, put him down, uh, even threw him in a pit and sold him off to Ishmaelites uh, to be a slave. Um, Jesus seems to have uh, a problem with his brothers um, who don't seem to like or believe in him at all. And they're saying, oh, if you're so smart, why don't you go and show yourself off in Jerusalem? They know it's dangerous for him. Um, but Jesus knows that his time is not yet. He will indeed face that time. But then he does go anyway after his brothers go. He goes in secret um, to this festival of booths and he's listening to the word on the street and it's divided. Some people are saying that he's deceiving the people. Other people believe that uh, he's really a prophet or, or they don't know who he is. Maybe some of them think he's the Messiah. Um, so it's divided. Well, you know, in today's world, it's divided too, you know, what do people think about Jesus? How do they understand him? Do they, do they believe in him? What do they believe about him? Um, Jesus just invites us to him to 
sink into his wisdom, to know his love, and to know that this is really God's love for the world, that he reflects what God's will and, and love is for the world. So when he stands against evil, um, he's doing it because he wants people to be at peace uh, and in right relationship with each other. Um, so, you know, it's still divided. People wonder who Jesus is. But let us, as people of faith, stand solidly with Jesus. Um, let us accompany Jesus uh, through this season of Lent, through all the trials he must go through. Um, and this is a little, little hint of what's to come um, further on in Holy Week. Let us have the courage to stand with Jesus in our faith and to proclaim, really, about our faith in Jesus and what he means to us. Now let us sing the next two verses of our hymn. My soul he doth restore again, and me to walk doth make within the paths of the righteousness, him for his own name's sake. Yea, though I walk through death's dark veil, yet will I fear no ill, for Thou art with me, and Thy rod and staff me comfort still. And uh, now we will uh, say the Hear, O Israel. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first and the great commandment. The second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. And in our prayers today, when I say, Lord, in your mercy, Please respond with, hear our prayer. Let us pray. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer that there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That we may depart this life in your faith. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of St. Luke and all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue in our prayers for the sick, those known to us, those who are sick uh, throughout the world. And especially today, uh, on Saturday, we pray for our uh, cycle of prayer for the sick. Today we pray for Jim Glass, Linda Sutton, Gerald Taylor, Jackie Burton, and Steve Simak. We pray, O oh Lord, for their health and well-being and for all the sick. We pray for the healing touch of Jesus that they might have wholeness of being in body, mind, and spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for all who are stressed because of the pandemic. We pray for healthcare workers, essential workers. We pray for teachers and for their students. We pray for families, for households trying to keep everything together, for those who are out of work. We pray, O oh Lord, for strength, to meet the days ahead and that we might be able to participate in a plan to end this pandemic as soon as possible, that we might be able to follow the guidelines to keep ourselves and each other and especially the most vulnerable safe. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for our refugee family. Pray for Muhammad, Karima, Fatin and Ahmed. Keep them safe, O oh Lord. Help them to know they have a connection through prayer to this community. And we pray for the process 
that they will soon have their interview from the Canadian Embassy. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for 10 more households on our parish list. And if you're joining us from another parish, I invite you to uh, pray for members of your parish or community as well. Tonight, we pray for Bob and Sheila Tate. We pray for Ashley Taylor, for Christopher, Jennifer, William, Talia, and Shailen Taylor, for John and Kathleen Taylor, for Louisa Taylor, for Richard Taylor, for Claire Taylor and, I'm uh, sorry, for Cecilia Taylor Claire and Neville Claire, for Darlene Teslick, for Mark and Jane Tevya, and for Bill and Sharon Thatcher. We give thanks for each one, O oh Lord. We pray for their health and safety and well being. We pray, O oh Lord, that they might know they belong to a community of faith which cares and prays for them. Lord, in your mercy hear our prayer. In the Anglican cycle of prayer, today we pray for Fridays and Saturdays, Anglican cycle of prayer. We pray for the Diocese of Asante Mampong in the Church of the Province of West Africa in Ghana province, a bishop well known to our previous bishop, Michael Bird. And we also pray for the Diocese of St. Asaph in the Church in Wales. We pray for the bishops, clergy and people of both these dioceses. Might they know that they are being upheld in prayer from dioceses around the world today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for another brother of the Society of St. John the Evangelist, and today we pray for the superior of the SSJE, Brother James Keister. We give thanks for his ministry, for the wonderful ways he reaches out, for all the communications he does, for the little notes that he writes and sends to the Fellowship of St. John and other people. We give you thanks for his words of wisdom, for his spirit of love and compassion. And we pray, O oh Lord, that he might know that there is a great community praying for him. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray our nighttime prayer from the Anglican Church of New Zealand. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us, and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. And we pray the collect for this week. O oh God, whose glory it is to always have mercy. Be gracious to all who have gone astray from your ways and bring them again with penitent hearts and steadfast faith to embrace and hold fast the unchangeable truth of your word, Jesus Christ, your Son, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And we will sing the, uh, we will complete the end of our hymn at this stage. My table thou hast furnished in presence of my foes. My head thou dost with oil anoint, and my cup over. Goodness 
Jesus, have mercy on my life. Shall surely follow me, and in God's house forevermore my dwelling place shall be. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. May the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Thank you for joining us in evening prayer tonight. Uh, tomorrow is Sunday, of course, so we have a 9 a.m. service. We have our 11 a.m. coffee hour. We have our 7 p.m. evening prayer and evening prayer every night of the week except Friday next week. So I hope you'll join us for some or all of those. Um, I'd really love to see you at, at our coffee hour, at our Zoom coffee hour. Um, so do have a look for the link uh, to that. Blessings to you.